Hello my lovelies, in today's video I'm talking about perfumes that smell clean and give you that clean girl aesthetic. They just smell like you've been pampered to the nines. They smell absolutely divine. So if you want to smell like your sophisticated best version of yourself, these perfumes will do it for you. By the way, my name is Monica and this is a perfume and a luxury channel. I do vlog also weekly. So if you love such content, subscribe. And let's start with the first super fresh clean and slightly powdery fragrance that will make you smell divine on an everyday basis. This is a fragrance that people will be like, oh my gosh, she always smells amazing. Like, oh my gosh, this is the girl. Oh, you're the girl that smells amazing. This is that sort of reaction. Nobody can dislike the scent. It's so perfectly done. It's Windflowers by Creed and it's a beautiful petal, delicate, fruit tea floral fragrance with a bit of this roundness and bit of this lactonicness that makes it very smooth it's not harsh flowers it's very smooth light flower petals it just reminds me of like i don't know i have this image in my head when i smell this like just pink uh, rose petals just flying everywhere in like this serene white room this is what i feel like and just see in my head when I smell this. This is a long lasting, beautiful, pretty light floral that smells very womanly, smells very put together. Um, it does smell like a luxury. So if you're a bit younger, if you are like, let's say below 18, this will make you smell a bit more grown up, but overall it's a very youthful, well put together niche fragrance it's absolutely stunning next perfume is a designer scent that is clean and just smells amazing this is like all of this list is the sort of perfumes that you could wear every single day because i've got tons of perfumes and sometimes I need to feel like wearing something whereas these are perfect for every day if you want to just get one perfume if you want to get a few this is the list that is super versatile and will make you that well smelling clean uh, person in your friend group uh, this perfume is Sadik and Voltaire this is her it's a super simple concept of a fragrance but I remember being obsessed with this scent on my friend when I was like 13. I was like, oh my gosh, what? You smell so, so good. And still now, years later, years later, this smells delicious. It's a powdery, sweet, marshmallowy milkiness. It's not too heavy. It's still very clean, but more of this like clean gourmand scent. So if you love gourmands, but you want something quite clean smelling and even a bit soapy, then this is just marshmallowy plush. Oh, so delicious. I can't get enough of this. This is my favorite scent. If I want to feel just cozy and I'm staying at home. I just can't stop sniffing myself. I know it sounds a bit weird, but I'm the crazy perfume lady and this is the scent that does it for me. Oh, absolutely amazing. Next up is a eccentric molecule scent and it's the O4 scent. This scent is magical if you can smell it that is the caveat because let me tell you that my husband absolutely cannot smell this at all like at all at all at all and it's funny because his brother came here and he smelled it and he was like it's so strong and i was like yeah it's super strong and Matthew was like I can't smell anything. So with many eccentric molecule scents, they are molecular fragrances. They're quite simple fragrances, but not everybody can smell them. So this is an interesting clean smelling scent. If you can smell it, you'll smell pencil shavings, a very strong, woody, transparent scent that is spicy. And it is so strong, but in like a light way. So if I spray it on, I can smell it 
for days on my clothes it's super strong but in the weirdest way so if you want something very different um if you want something that some people notice some people want that is a fun conversation starter this scent is magnificent and also you can layer it for longevity uh, with other scents it's a really fun concept and i would recommend it because it's just fun like it, and you can get it at discounters for quite good prices so link some discounters if you want to like blind buy it and you don't know if you'll be able to even smell it i'll link some discounters so you can get your hands on it and see what you think next up is one of my favorite scents that i don't want to share with anybody <laughs> but i'm doing this channel so i kind of have to so i'm not the gatekeeper anymore with this scent it's maison crivelli ingredients this scent smells super clean they haven't disclosed any of the ingredients so nobody can know well you can smell it and see if you can figure it out but it's such an unusual smelling scent it to me it smells beginning very spicy and light but then it smells almost like staticky clean dry laundry it's such a strange experience but wonderful you just smell like very clean fresh warm fuzzy laundry it smells divine it's very long lasting very strong you can smell it for days again and it's a scent that can only be bought on their own website so and it's a limited scent so if you want something signature something that not many people will be able to buy and you want this clean girl aesthetic and this can be your secret scent that you won't disclose to anybody you'll be like hmm. I can't tell you that sort of a scent and this is the one for you next up we've got a very clean powdery serene zen clean girl scent it's rehab from initio this scent just look at the bottle this is how the scent is it's so serene super powdery oh i love this it's soothing lavender with just like tons of powderiness bit of tobacco but this tobacco is like super light and just gives it more of this like earthy feel to the scent it's so unusual very niche smelling super zen i would wear it to like a skiing holiday or if i'm really stressed at work this would just really calm me down there's something about it you just inhale it and it just calms you down it really does and i think scent has got that um the ability to do that and it's amazing because well we all know that we like should smell lavender if we want to like fall asleep or calm ourselves down and this having the lavender and blended with lots of like really calming ingredients it really does work it's such a zen scent next are you ready guys are you ready it's 51 essence from roja parfum this scent is such a fun one in my collection i wore it last week i put it out on my marble shelf so i would wear it more this i want to apply it do you have a spot <laughs> that's right it's so fun it's a very powdery floral with a bit, bit of sparkliness at the top so it's a bit like you know when you drink tonic water and it's got this fizz, fizziness that really you can smell because it just comes up with the bubbles with the carbonation carbonation hope i'm right <laughs> this scent is that sort of a very positive very sophisticated lady that lives in the posh part of london that has a multi-million pound house that is just filled to the brim of like expensive art this is somebody who knows good taste and is very cultural this is what the scent smells like to me but at the same time it's youthful but this powderiness gives this air of like this clean woman this is more like a womanly scent somebody who just has money and wants to have a very good niche quality, uh, quality scent but doesn't want to scream perfume when she walks into the room because she would rather like walk into the room and just observe this is that woman it's super super nice i can't imagine anybody disliking the scent it's super pleasing but also niche next a very clean 
clean smelling perfume that is just stunning is Dosson from um, Diptyque. I forgot the brand for a second. <laughs> this scent is very white floral heavy. It's a tuberose bomb and it's, I would say, a squeaky clean tuberose. If you like this like super intense tuberose that can almost give you a headache, then this is the scent for you. I especially love wearing this layered with other scents because it's a bit too clean clean for me and I'm not the biggest fan of tuberose, but still, this is a very nice scent. I still put it on this list because I think it's really nice. I wear it as not like a, the, the biggest fan of tuberose and people who are obsessed with tuberose, they would really, really appreciate it. So if you know you love squeaky clean white flower fragrances, this is super strong and just really pretty. Next scent that is clean and just well put together. And some of you actually have asked me about a fragrance, a more niche version of Weissel Libre. And I found it and I love it. It's Temp Fluor from Nishane. Oh, this is very similar in some ways to Weissel Libre, but at the same time, when I smelled this, this reminded me of also Fragrance Du Bois Cavort fragrance. So it's a slash because it's got the, the fresh facets of Weissel Libre and I'm allowing myself to say that because most of you have probably smelled Weissel Libre sometime in your life. Uh, but it also has got this like leathery quality and like this leatheriness underneath the really fresh like freshness that Weiser Leap has. So it's absolutely delicious. I find myself really wanting to respray it a couple of times because I really enjoy the opening of the scent. The dry note is really amazing as well but such a likable super easy to wear everyday sort of fragrance that is unique enough to buy like if i was to buy YSL Libre now i probably wouldn't i would buy this instead because it gives me that edge it still has got that YSL Libre vibe but there's something about this i absolutely love it it's so so good and easy going perfect for every day you don't have to worry about it People love Weissel Lip, obviously, but you would smell a bit different, especially during the uh, dry down, because that's where the fragrance really changes and differentiates itself from Weissel Lip. I would say the most similar is the Eau de Parfum. Let me know if you've got any other suggestions of your favorite clean and just clean girl aesthetic perfume. Let me know down in the comments. I hope to see you here again soon, so subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.